Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I was gonna show you my brilliant new way of pumping water out of the basement. Um, I don't think it's working very well because um, yeah let's turn you around. Um, I see this hose down here that's in a weird up way uh, well I think there's quite a bit of water down there. So luckily, I cleaned my willies not that long ago. So uh, yeah, we need to go in and fix this. Let's go in. What have I messed up this time? Something for sure. Oh, there's quite a bit of water down here. Again. Yeah. Hmm. Just not running. So it's on a timer here, which I've turned off. Now it's on. Ah, oh, dang it! Floating trash can. Awesome. Okay, so while the pump is running in the other room, I actually got quite the a bit of requests that people wanted to see what was in this box and uh, me sorting that out. So I think we'll try and do that. That's the t uh, bottom box down here. So I'll dig that out. I must admit, I received way more positive uh, feedback on that video just sorting this box of goodies uh, or crap than I was expecting at all so uh, thank you uh, let's see if I get this out of here and it's just sitting on dirt in here so uh, not optimal but uh, it's even a bit wet down there so but this part of the basement is dry it's a few centimeters higher than uh, what is presently underwater <laughs> so yeah I think if I just take the lead off here I can uh, I can get rid of the dirt on the on the lead of the box okay let's see what we got here I think there is quite a bit of this that I don't need anymore. Let's hope so. Okay, first we have a we have a shoebox. And it's full of women's shoes. And this uh, we did a uh, feature film called Multiple Means of Murder. And we had an we had an actress that was supposed to uh, well, that was the murderer, and she was dressed as another actress, and, uh, well, we had two different actresses, and they didn't have the same uh, size feet, so um, we had to buy the same shoes in two different sizes, and we can still see the remnants of gaffer tape on the bottom of them, because these were noisy, and our sound guy didn't like that noise, so... Uh, I, don't, I can't see the sizes here. Um, yeah, um, my fetish is not women's uh, footwear, so uh, it, they, they can go out now. The film has been done for 10 years, so <coughs> moving along. Let's see. We have some tape. This is awesome tape, so I'm going to definitely keep that. But I actually have a good place for tape. Uh, tape, scissors, and staplers are like magic things. They can disappear on their own. They don't need any help. They can just evaporate. 
So then we have some BP wipes. They feel very dry. I don't plan on keeping those. Then we have some headphones. There's even some battery acid in those. Yeah. Don't think I don't even need to go into that, but uh, yeah, Lone Tower Visuals wireless headphones. These were uh, we purchased these a long time ago, and the meaning was that we could film the videos and we could hear what the sound guy was doing while filming. And this was way back when we were on a very tight budget. I think these were purchased in LD or Lidl or something. So. Uh, there's two sets of those. They um, they have clearly let out some blue stuff. Maybe I need those baby wipes. I got that stuff on my fingers. Ah. Let's see. Mm. Oh, that smells like toilet. Just smell that. Yeah, right? Mm-hmm. Yikes. Really? Fuck, that tastes bad. Oh, not taste. That smells bad. Oh, then I have some... have some very small flashlights. Well, the batteries has clearly stopped working. Yeah, these were... Oh, these were from Aarhus Radio Lea. Um that's the city where I was living and we had an electronics shop like where you could go and purchase your resistors and your diodes and your circuit board prints for making PCBs and all sort of stuff also where I purchased my uh, my fluke multimeter many 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 years ago and well I had electronic at the uh, night school and uh, we could um, all of all of our component came from Aarhus Radio Lea back then. I, I, these are old flashlights. I don't think we want to keep those. I only have a pair of glasses. Uh, I do not. Yeah, okay. I think I do remember what these were for. I think one of the actors was using glasses and we needed to get some glasses with just glass in them and not anything. I, I think I'll keep those for now. Then we have a skateboard and this was, it was more or less just to use as a dolly, put the camera on it and roll it. So um, I don't think I need to keep that anymore either. But good old nice remedy for and these were very good because they didn't they didn't rattle they didn't say a sound they just very nicely drew yeah yeah that's a lot of crap in here that I don't need anymore and then we have a hat uh, TV2 all of Denmark's television I haven't got a clue where this came from. I don't think we had it in the film. Maybe I just scored it. I don't need it. And what is this? This is some. Ah, okay. This is plastic that um, cover up plastic. Outdeckings plast in Danish cover up plastic. So if you have something that you need to cover up with plastic before painting or something. Uh, pro we probably purchased that for some part of the film. And then we have a we have a strobe strobe scope strobe light strobe. I don't know how to say that in English. Strobe scope blues. Hmm. I'm gonna keep that. Then we have we have this stuff for marking out if you know if there's work being done here don't go that way gotta keep that and we have 
we have a cup in the film it's broken and I kept it so um, yeah good little thing then I oh this this one I might keep this is uh, this is an oldie I don't think it works anymore but this one I stole from my dad many 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 years ago so uh, yeah it might not work but it has nostalgic uh, properties I think he got it for Christmas at some point and yeah I thought it was cool so now I have it my dad died when I was 18 I don't think he will mind I'm sure he would actually be happy that I still have his flashlight I forget why these are here these are for tightening down stuff when you're like moving them so yeah they don't need to be there <laughs> yeah we did some filming places where there were a lot of mosquitoes and uh, yeah sometimes we were doing shoots where actors they didn't have the clothes to protect them against mosquitoes and the crew as well so oh, we have a little bit of mosquito juice here maybe that's the blue stuff in the bottom I don't know then we have have a bit of jewelry uh, as I know who paid for this film production I can assure you that it's, they're not worth anything and then there's, there's some artwork uh, oh yeah these are we needed uh, to build a like a mansion a um, small castle or something and this was the actress uh, played by a Danish actress she was called Alexandra Tamstrom and uh, yeah we needed we needed some pictures to hang on the wall uh, the, the film in this in the film she's very eagle centristic so she has a lot of pictures of herself hanging on the walls so we um, we needed to have pictures of her made in canvas and put in frames so all of these pictures uh, is something that she has taken of herself together with a photographer in Copenhagen sent over the picture and my buddy Jonas has made them look a little bit a little bit like uh, like they were painted and then we had them printed out on, on canvas they actually um, did a cameo some of them did a cameo in another film that we did so um, yeah we um, very cheap way to make that I think uh, I don't need those anymore either I might might give some of this to my buddy maybe he needs some I don't think he needs it uh, this is work of art I have no idea some sort of lip brush I don't know don't, I don't use that sort of stuff then we have some keys and a laser light that doesn't work anymore uh, I do wonder where these stupid keys came from uh, yeah uh, I believe they were used in the film for some sort of I forget what but yeah out they go uh, it's not gonna be a lot left in this box when we're done oh oh that's that's some nice uh, behind the scene photos from the shoot I forget what this was all about but uh, we had to take a lot of pictures because we uh, we uh, had to come in and out of this place a few times to to film and uh, well yeah actually you can see one of the big frames right here and that was like a, a multiple meters times meters uh, picture of uh, Alexandra uh, hanging on the wall that we made out of cheap wood and uh, mold molding I think the thing that you really put up against the wall over here we, we did a picture frame out of that that was a lot of fun and then I have some tattoos 
I have no idea why I've saved those, but yeah. Then we have some of the makeup. This is the big reveal when one actor is really the other actor. Oh, well, they are locked in a castle or this mansion and there's a murder and one of them has murdered the other one and pretends to be that one. And this 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 actor is Maya Mutlak. And let's see, that's oh, another one of the pictures. Here's the dimensions of uh, how large that was. We went out and we bought a lot of uh, used frames with some very ugly pictures on them. And then we just removed the pictures and put our own pictures in. So we measured up the frames and then we had these canvases printed out in the right dimensions to put on the pictures. Well, quite brilliant if we have to say so ourselves. Uh, this is part of the part of the film. I think we made this. Uh, we were gonna record at this lake. Uh, we didn't have permission, but um, we we I think we put this up anyway. There weren't any issues whatsoever. Another tattoo. So yeah, that can go. <laughs> I don't know why have I purchased a lot of weird tattoos. I think there might have been if we needed some for a, to put on someone we would have them uh, and I paid 10 Danish crowns I think they can go another film thing and then when you're making film always you need some some f transparent fish wire so uh, yeah we have some of that that's always good then in the film we have a butler and he used white gloves so I have a pair of white-ish gloves because they have been in this for way too long so I don't think I need to save these white gloves which really isn't that white anymore I think I'll take one more of those baby wipes and just wipe the bottom of this <laughs> It's a little bit dirty, it's not too bad actually. These were supposed to be wet. That's not the case anymore. Okay, so um, we can put some of this stuff back. And I can throw out some more in another few years. Now that I've thrown out so much, I think we can take the stuff from last week and put over in this box as well. So, there. And that tape goes into the tape collection and then this is good. And I have thrown out a lot of stuff. Awesome! So now this box can just go out so uh, cool okay in here the water level is now underneath uh, well the, the floor level in the well at least it still has a long way to go but I do uh, I do have the option to help it along here so I'm gonna do that I think that is enough of that. Okay, so my little pump is trying to run down there. I want to show you that. So to prevent what um, has just happened, I have built a little, a little additional pump here. Uh, looks like this. 
There's a 12 volt pump here and there is a little device here that measures the water. So when the water comes up, it should start the pump. I've turned it off right now. We'll try and see if we can. So now it's off right. And when this comes up, it pumps water. Uh, it uh, isn't as good as shutting it off again. So I think the switch is not that great. If I turn it off and turn it on, it doesn't come on again. So I think it makes a little arc here. And uh, yeah, so um, it was a it was a good try. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough to keep my basement dry. So um, yeah, that's a bit bit of a shame here. It would have been cool if it had saved my ass in this ups in this case. So it's it sits down there. So another very random video here. It was my fault. I had been down here yesterday and set the timer. Um, the timer, I think it starts every second hour or every three hours. Some part of the day it's every second hour and some part of the day it's every three hours. I think at night time it's every second hour and at daytime it's every three hours. Just so I don't have to listen to it as much in the daytime. There is a, a limit to how many times it can turn on and off and that is 10 times so it um, it pumps out for uh, at the moment it's nine minutes every two hours but only 10 times a day so during the day it's sometimes three hours blah 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 so I forgot to set it back to auto which means that it's on the timer I had just left it on off so stupid me um, my little pump system is also a little bit dodgy because uh, I have a one-way valve on the pipe up here. Is that visible? Might be visible down there. There's a one-way valve just about there. And uh, I'm not sure that the pump is strong enough to activate that one-way valve and pump through it. Uh, but it's very difficult to test. I will have to take stuff apart and I really don't like to take stuff apart because at the moment it's kind of not leaking anywhere well except all over the floor never mind the system can't fix stupid so uh, yeah it wouldn't have worked anyway so thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again and have a really nice day bye bye